Good morning guys, it's 9.20 and I just woke up because I have been exhausted for some reason. I don't know like, well, oh, probably because I'm pregnant, <laughs> but I've just been like really tired. So I woke up this morning at like 6.30 because I was going to get up and then it just, there was no way and I had to go back to sleep. So I'm up now and I'm going to go get uh, Chick-fil-A breakfast because it's like a new habit. I have everything here to make breakfast. But I picked up this new habit that I've been getting Chick-fil-A breakfast and it's mostly because of their frosted coffees that I'm like have a serious addiction to. It's really bad, but um, that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. And I kind of wanted to say something because it's, it's kind of like a funny thing that I have noticed about people and it's kind of funny that it's actually in one of my audiobooks that I'm listening to right now about just, there's like a lot of stuff in there about how people, um, just like social interactions with people and how people react and respond to other people in certain situations. Anyway, so it's funny because whenever I was saying, I'm so upset about my weight gain, I'm so worried about my weight gain, like it's bothering me so much. Everybody was kind of saying like, don't worry about it, you'll get back on track, here's ways to get back on track, and like being mostly, for the most part, there's always some like crazies in there, but for the most part, everybody was being really, um, you know, nice and like uplifting about it. And then whenever you change and you say, you know what, I'm not going to be depressed about it anymore. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to, you know, make small changes where I can, but I'm human and I still have cravings and pregnancy and, you know, and then once I accept the fact that, um, you know, once I'm happy again, then there's the people who come out of the woodworks and that's when people start saying things to try and bring you back down into the depression. Let me tell you this, I've been a bitch before in my life and I've said and done bitchy things, we all have, but that is a type of bitch <laughs> that you can't cure. And so if somebody does something like that to you or if you have people like that in your life, get rid of them because that is that is so absurd and like just so wrong to like want to pull people down into the depths of just crap like just just don't be that person and don't keep those people around in your life i'm just saying okay this was my frosted coffee but it's been completely drank and it was delicious and then i got a chicken egg and cheese bagel and i've already eaten almost all of my hash browns but this is my breakfast i'm sure i look really sexy right now because I just um, gave myself an artificial tan and I always look so weird like right after I do it but I'm up I'm sure you can tell I'm in my upstairs bathroom right now because I store all of my extra products in the upstairs bathroom um, like under the sink and I'm out of shaving cream so I need to look and see if I have some isn't this entertaining so I need to look and see if I have some and I'll show you guys how like I have that organized under here in case you want an idea on how to store your overflow toiletries. There's absolutely nothing like special about this, but this is, I have it in these two, and then under here, that's baby, all baby stuff, but just in these little bins, so then I have to like rummage through it anytime I need. Besides that, I need to organize that because that's all for Skyla, because this will be her bathroom. But, um, I need to go through it and figure out what to get rid of and what to keep. La Roche Posse. Thermal spring water for sensitive skin. I feel so refreshed. So I wanted to share this because I'm excited about it. I actually posted on my Snapchat about it and um, I wanted to give you like a better view. So I have all my jewelry that's like just like fashion jewelry that's not like actual nice jewelry. It's all in my closet in like a similar container. But I wanted to put my actual nice jewelry in something else and keep it separated. Um, Cause I keep this locked up. And so what I did was I bought, this was at Target and I bought these like separators. And you're always supposed to keep your jewelry like in a like pouch or like a plastic bag so that it can't touch other jewelry and get tarnished. And this is what I've done. And I really think it's a good idea. It makes it easier because before I did this, it was kind of just all strung out. And the only thing that I really need to do something about is this. Because 
these are nice rings and they're all just banging up against each other so I need to get like a ring like holder thing um, to separate them all they're not doing this because it's really bad and this one so there they all are but um, anyway if you needed an idea for like to separate your nice jewelry from all your you know fashion jewelry this is a good way to do it it's 1.50 and I'm cleaning up the house right now and since I had a, such a big breakfast, I'm having a couple of these. They're like really rich so you can't eat very many at a time, but I'll show you what they look like. Like they're really, um, like I said, they're really rich, but they crave, I mean they quench your sweet tooth without being like too awful for you because it's dark chocolate and it has macadamia nuts in them, so just a couple of them really do the trick. I'm also having lemon water. I've had a couple of these so far today. But you need to drink as much water as you can throughout the day. Um, anybody does. But lemon water, lemon is actually like kind of a diuretic. And drinking ice water is supposed to speed up your metabolism. But who knows. But drinking water is good for you in general. But I like to add lemon to help get it down. Is that your spot? For lunch I'm having some wild rice with some scrambled eggs on top of it. Um, chopped green onion, half of an avocado, um, some sprinkle of red wine vinegar, um, black pepper, salt. Now I'm going to put some sriracha on it. This is the first time I've had this and it's really, really good. It's spicy, but it's really good. I was looking up like quick healthy meals on Pinterest and I came across this and I'm so glad I did because I feel like this is going to be another one of my go-to meals. My tan always looks crazy right after I put it on before I like take another shower or wash my face. It makes my face look like dirty or something but I feel like I look like a totally different person after putting on my self tanner because I did that today. I did already say that. Yeah, I did already say that. Um, so I just finished my lunch and I ate every bite. It was delicious. And um, I'm just sitting here watching um, some vlogs before I get back to work. Today, um, all of like my final orders are going out today until we reopen on April 4th. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I have a lot of things that I need to get done before we can reopen. Like, I haven't finished the loft yet. It just needs to be, like, my workspace. It needs to be organized. And there's just a lot of things that I've been falling behind on that I need to do that do not pertain to my Etsy shop. So I need to have some time to get that done before we open back up. And um, the orders that I take on April 4th, those will be the last ones that I take until I come back from maternity leave because I want to have every, all of my orders out at least a month before my due date just because you never know what could happen. And I don't wanna be stuck in a situation where I have like orders that I can't finish because like, you know, if for some reason I go into labor early or like if the month before I give birth, if I just wanna like take it easy and not have to worry about work and not stress. Um, I'm so lucky that I like have the luxury to be able to make my own schedule so I've decided that I'm not going to work the month before I give birth on my Etsy shop. I have a lot of other things obviously to work on and do and I'm going to keep up with my vlog channel and everything or my YouTube channel and everything so there will be other things going on. I'll have plenty, my plate will be plenty full. So that's just a little update on that and I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you, but now I don't know what it was. Oh, um, I'm drinking a Coke Zero. Fail, but Nick bought him that uh, the other night. If you're watching my Snapchat story, I had like a breakdown because I wasn't buying him for the house and I'd gone so long without having him and I had like a withdrawal attack. So he bought a case and which I t should have told him just to go get a bottle at the, um, gas station while I was cooking but he got a whole case so if they're in the house like they're gonna be drank <laughs> so um so anyway so that was my lunch but what I actually turned my camera back on to say is that it's not really lunchtime it's 4 20 so I wasn't 
hungry again after that breakfast because that was a huge breakfast like that that chicken bagel from chick-fil-a was so big and that coffee was so big that i was full until about four o'clock i had some of those little sweets that i showed you in between and i did have a cup of that teamy morning tea but other than that um that's all i had and so i didn't get hungry until four o'clock so i haven't had like a lot of things to eat but I've had a lot of calories today my maternity dress for my maternity photo shoot came in and it's amazing I was actually really nervous about what it was gonna look like because when you order stuff online you just like you just don't know and it ended up being so flattering and so perfect like exactly what I wanted so I'm really happy it worked out um, and I was worried about like how it was gonna look and I was kind of worried about my maternity pictures not turning out very like flattering just because of all the weight but the dress is like amazing it's like beyond amazing so I'm really excited about it and my shoot is in like a month from now it's like the third weekend in April so I have like a month until the shoot but I'm just like dying because it's perfect holy crap guys I just addressed this many shower pre invitations that's a lot of invitations. <laughs> but we're sending out pre-invitations first because we need to know how many people are coming before we like actually make the plans on like where we're gonna have the shower and everything because the amount of people that RSVP yes <laughs> will depend on where we have it, like the type of stuff that we serve, um, just so that we can work the budget out around the number of people coming. It just makes more sense. So we're doing pre-invites. And then we have to do a whole nother round on top of these after once we get the list of people who are actually going to be able to make it. Although that'll probably be a pretty small list because we have people coming in from, well, the people that are coming would be from all over because we don't have like family or like a huge group of friends here in Houston. Like everybody's from out of town. So it's probably going to be small, but that's okay. It'll be fun no matter how many people come but I'm really excited and um, I am going to vlog my shower so you guys can be a part of that if you want to be this is probably your best video <laughs> why won't it focus oh my gosh the moon looks amazing tonight I will show you guys look at this freaking moon Anyway, we're on the way to Papa Murphy's to pick up pizza because it's already the weekend because tomorrow's Good Friday and we love Papa Murphy's. So, the club. There's like a club over there. How weird. Well, that's where I usually go when I pick up Papa Murphy's, but you had to come with me this time. Our favorite pizza that we get from Papa Murphy's every time is called like the cowboy. Isn't it called like the cowboy? The cowboy. Without, we get it without mushrooms. So. I like mushrooms. All this time you've been saying no mushrooms. <laughs> I hate mushrooms. I'm not putting mushrooms on my cowboy pizza. All this time I thought that we got the regular cowboy and you've been telling them to remove mushrooms. You didn't even know mushrooms came on it. I know and now I'm mad. They're closed? No! Who closed Why are they nine? closed? It's, it's, tomorrow's a holiday and it's only 9.23. No, I don't smell my armpits and I wasn't smelling my armpit the other night when you said the sneak smell. Yeah, you did a sneak smell. No, I didn't, Nick. I don't even know what that freaking it's is. It's fine. I do it all the time. I didn't do a sneak smell. If you think that I am afraid to sniff my armpit in front of you, you are freaking mistaken. I could do some water burger right now. No, I don't want that. That makes me feel sick. I'm not going to be the people that roll into a restaurant at 9.45 when they close at 10. Oh my god, like that, like that time? Like two nights ago that was a miserable mo thing and you're like this place is so good and it ended up being the freaking worst place we've been since we've been in KE. I thought it was good you just didn't like that the meat was red and it was seasoned that way it wasn't actually red you're just a whiny Raw baby bag meat. biatch. 
there was legit raw meat in my salad. Yes, it was raw. It was supposed to be red. It wasn't supposed to be red. Ah! Oh my god, 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 we almost died. Yeah, why are you putting, we know that we need to go around. Holy, a head-on collision? Oh no. That was a head-on collision. We could go to Cindy's and get some edible underwear and then eat some oysters at Captain Tom's. <laughs> oh, hell no. I can't stand Captain Tom. We can eat some oysters with the edible underwear at Captain Tom's. So stupid and gross. I'm Your options right now, you're dressed like a fast food person right now. So I your know options that. are fast food. I know that. So Chick-fil-A. You said Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. You want Chick-fil-A? No. Okay. Do you want Taco Bell? Do no. Do you want Long John Silvers? No. <laughs> I just want cake or something. Can you tell me some other ideas? I just don't want Whataburger, honey. I love KFC. No, you don't, Nick. I've, yeah, I do. You love I used KFC, to eat KFC right KFC now? All the time when you were out of town on Sundays during the red zone, I would get a full box of KFC and a big ass Mountain Dew. No, you never did. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You were not there. And I did do that. You lied. I would have seen it in the trash can. Nope, I did it. Trust me. I used to drive to What else have you Academy done? Sports. Sneaky. What have you done? I what else kind of sneaky stuff have you done when I'm not looking? I used to looking? drive to Academy Sports. Chipley's is always. Um, oh my gosh. There's a guy wearing a ski mask. Nick, that guy was wearing a ski mask. He was not. You're Hi. Payway's not open either. I know. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to you. We've been driving around for food for like 30 minutes now. I don't care, like, that was worth it. To see that the food that I want is closed. Yeah. That's marriage. That is like perfect marriage for you. So, we just drove around, I'm not even kidding, for an hour and nothing is open because now it's 10.15 and the only thing that's open right now is Whataburger. The first thing that I said. As yeah, soon as and I we did not out, want Whataburger because it's I felt like I was gonna throw up looking at the menu. It just makes me so no sick. Um, anyway, we got Whataburger. And Nick got a hey, bacon and cheeseburger. Moonwalks, table chairs, and water slides for sale. Um, Nick got a bacon and cheeseburger with fries and spicy ketchup and a Coke. And I got the A1 Thick and Hearty Burger <laughs> with fries and ketchup and a Coke and, sp and a Diet. Fries, spicy ketchup, and a Coke Zero. So, Hashtag super my OB healthy. would not be proud. Hashtag. Hashtag, I'm not gonna be able to put this baby, out, push this baby out. That was an ultra disgusting dinner. I feel great. Why is my thing keep going out of focus? Um, that was a disgusting dinner. I don't feel good after eating it. Never feel good after eating Whataburger. That's why I didn't want to go there in the first place. But, oh well, it's done now. So, um, I'm not going to take my makeup off tonight because I use an oil-based cleanser and it'll completely take off my tan altogether because um, I just artificial tan today. And so, I'm also not gonna put the belly oil on my belly tonight because um, I need to sleep overnight with this tanning stuff and then tomorrow I can go back to my normal routine. And my camera died. Um, we're about to go to sleep. It's a hungry I'm not putting... lady sneaking in and farting on people. <sighs> Nick said that Jennifer Lawrence looks like she would hold you down and fart on you. Thanks for watching my Foodie Friday video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If you liked it. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on Monday for my head to toe, hair and skin daily routine. Good night guys.